welcome. For this first series of exercises, we shall cover basic controls and begin by seeing how to pedal. Good. Pressing harder allows you to ride faster. But beware, this also means consuming more energy. Now, you have to negotiate a series of bends by controlling the brakes. You must brake when the trajectory is red, because it means that you are riding too fast. Very good. You are in control of your bike. Remember to manage your braking. It will avoid you having to pick up the pace too often and thus consume too much energy. To complete this series of exercises, we shall see how to attack or sprint. This allows you to drop your opponents, to break away or to sprint to victory in case of a bunched finish. Excellent. Remember that you can only attack if you have some red energy, and that you don't necessarily need to attack all out to drop your opponents. This training exercise is over. If you want to go deeper into certain points, discover advanced features, or simply learn more about the Tour de France, you can consult the manual via the main menu. In this series of exercises, we shall cover one of cycling's essentials, energy. To begin, try to reach the top of this climb before the allotted time runs out. Watch out, you have very little energy. You have just blown up. That's what happens when you have no more energy. With the little that you had, it was inevitable. Blowing up must be avoided at all costs during a race, because major effort is impossible and you will lose a lot of time. To reduce energy consumption, it is important to protect yourself from the wind. To see if you are well protected, you just look at the shield. If it is empty, it means that you are poorly protected, and, if possible, you must find a position that is sheltered from the wind. Good! You know how to protect yourself from the wind. 
For maximum protection, you need at least five riders between you and the oncoming wind. Don't forget that to win, you'll need to expose yourself to the wind when the time comes. You can't stay protected for the whole race. We shall now see how to use your two feet. The blue energy gel raises the energy gauge, while the red gel raises the attack gauge. We shall now see how to use your two feet. The blue energy gel raises the energy gauge, while the red gel raises the attack gauge. We shall now see how to use your two feet. The blue energy gel raises the energy gauge, while the red gel raises the attack gauge. We shall now see how to use your two feet. The blue energy gel raises the energy gauge, while the red gel raises the attack gauge. Great! On each stage, there is a feed zone that allows you to pick up two new feeds with which to finish the stage. You therefore have two feeds to be consumed before the feed zone, and two others to be consumed after the feed zone. Consume them at the right moment. For the last exercise, let's look at the aerodynamic position. This position is useful on descents, because it allows you to recover energy without losing speed.
for the last exercise, let's look at the aerodynamic position. This position is useful on descents because it allows you to recover energy without losing speed. For the last exercise, let's look at the aerodynamic position. This position is useful on descents because it allows you to recover energy without losing speed. Perfect. The aerodynamic position is especially effective on slopes under 6% because it allows you to freewheel fast enough without losing time. This technique will be very useful to you on descents from mountain passes. This training exercise is over. If you want During this series of exercises, we shall look at new means of control. Let's begin with effort control, which will allow you to maintain a constant level of effort. Very good. When it is activated, you can adjust the level of effort up or down. Be careful though. When you manage your effort in this way, you cannot attack. To cancel effort control, you just need to brake, accelerate, or attack. For this exercise, you will have to follow the team member in front of you by settling in behind him. You will no longer need to control your direction or your effort. Okay, following a rider lets you stay close to him and follow his trajectory. Be careful to properly monitor your energy, because if the rider that you are following is going too fast, he can cause you to blow up. To finish, you have some bike throw exercises. It is a technique that you can use 100 meters before an intermediate sprint or the finishing line. Within these zones, this action can gain you a few centimeters that will put you in front of an opponent. To finish, you have some bike throw exercises. It is a technique that you can use 100 meters before an intermediate sprint or the finishing line. Within these zones, this action can gain you a few centimeters that will put you in front of an opponent. Excellent! This action must be executed with perfect timing in order to be effective. If you throw the bike too soon, you will lose a lot of speed before reaching the line and risk losing the race.
This training exercise is over. If you want to go deeper into certain points, discover advanced features, or simply learn more about the Tour de France, you can consult the manual via the main menu. In this series of exercises, we shall explore the possibilities offered by TeamCom. The first thing to know is that it allows you to confirm suggestions that I shall make to you. Depending on the race situation, I shall make strategic suggestions that you can accept or not. Okay, we'll relay flat out. Good. Suggestions allow the behavior of team members within the same group to be modified. They are not always available. If all is quiet and there is no danger, I won't make any suggestions. We have seen how to use suggestions to change the behavior of your team members, but using TeamCom, you can also give instructions to a specific rider. Okay, I'll put in a big acceleration. Okay, you can also select several team members at the same time and give them the same instruction. Don't forget to consult the manual to get a description of each instruction. With TeamCom, you can also take control of another rider at any moment. Come to 
With TeamCom, you can also take control of another rider at any moment. Very good. By changing rider, you can always be in the thick of the action. We're at the final exercise. Beyond communications, TeamCom also allows you to accelerate forward if you think that there is no danger. Very good. Fast forward lets you advance quickly to key areas of the race, such as intermediate or mountain sprints. During this time, your rider sticks to the wheels in front. On the starting line, we now have the last team to set off in this team time trial. Come on, let's hear it for them. Come on, guys. We're into the pace right away. The early part of this stage is very fast and downhill. It's a winding descent, so be careful.
Auf geht's, Silva! You're in the groove, guys. You've done the best time. Come on, keep it up. It will start getting more difficult with long uphill false flats. Keep in line. Go, guys. It's not as difficult now. Come on! Pick up the pace! Downhill for a few kilometers. Take the opportunity for a breather before the final climb. Come on, guys! Don't forget, it's the time of the fifth rider that counts. There's no point in finishing on your own. Come on, guys! Hang on in there! It's the last climb! Keep going! Only one kilometer left! Stay together! Go! 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 It's flat now! Come on, guys!
Hello cycling fans everywhere, for the Grand Depart, the 2016 Tour, it's a magnificent setting that welcomes the riders, Mont Saint-Michel. Apart from the landscape, it will be the sprinters who take the limelight on the stage that is cut out for them. Riders have just set out and already there's an attack. Things are livening up at the head of the peloton. One minute for the breakaway. It's looking good. I'll go full out on the relay. fastest sprinter in the leading group. The time gap between the peloton and the breakaway is decreasing.
The men at the front are onto the final climb of the day. There will be one point up for grabs towards the climber's jersey. The time gap with the head of the race is stable. Watch out! You're not going to be able to attack for much longer.
Peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed.
Thank you.